It's your girl, Katie. <laughs> Kelsey, come do your video. Come do your video. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kelsey. <laughs> no, I just have to look at her and let her do her thing. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kelsey. And Mama Ward. What's up, what's up? It's Mama Ward. So today we're going to be doing a video, and as we said, we're going to be doing the scary stories. Three. Every video while we have this book. So. Get a dirty name again, so we know what I'm saying. We're going to be doing the book, Scary Stories Three. More tales to chill your bones. <sighs> <laughs> so I was just getting my part ready because so we're gonna we be doing day. so we're gonna be doing I'm gonna be reading um the appointment I was reading it to my friend and it sounds interesting. A 16-year-old boy worked on his grandfather's horse farm. One morning, he drove a pickup truck into town on an errand. While he was walking along the main street, he saw death. Death beckoned to him. The boy drove back to the farm as fast as he could and told his grandfather what had happened. Give me the truck, he begged. I'll go to the city. We'll never, he'll never find me there. His grandfather gave him the truck and the boy spent away. After he left, his grandfather went into town looking for death when he found him he asked why did you frighten my grandson that way he is only 16 he is too young to die i'm sorry about that said death i did not mean to beckon on him but i was sub surprised to see him here. You see, I have an appointment with him this afternoon in the city. Wow. That's deep. What do you think that means? What do you think this means? So, it's like, it's either it's either this is like they're inside of some hunted world, like a Halloween world, and and the people, cause the picture is people, their truck is in the air. That's death. And then this is death. Okay, let me say what I think. Mm -hmm. The sixteen-year-old boy, death. Beckoned him. Beckoned mean called him. The boy went to go tell the grandfather. The grandfather told the boy to take his truck. The boy took his truck and is leaving. However, Death have an appointment with the 16-year-old boy in the city in the afternoon. The grandfather told the boy to go to the city, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I'll go to the city. How did he know he was in a city? He didn't know he was in a city, but he said, you see, I have an appointment with him this afternoon in the city. So I think, That's deep. I think that he's a grandson gonna get killed. Yeah, we're at. <laughs> in the city. Yeah, because he got an appointment Don't with this. Don't age restrict this YouTube for a second. Right. Then we're talking about the book and it says 
is inferring that he is going to lose his life because you see I have an appointment with him this afternoon in the city yes, you right I didn't, I didn't read any of it. You read that whole story. The bus stop. Junior, what is this? You didn't read it to me. No. Ed Cox was driving home from work in a rainstorm. While he waited for a traffic light to change, he saw a young woman standing alone at a bus stop. She had no umbrella and was soaking wet. Are you going toward Farmington, he called. Yes, I am, she said. Would you like a ride home? I would, she said. And she got in. My name is Joanna Finley. Thank you for rescuing me. I'm Ed Cox, he said. And you're welcome. On the way, they talked and talked. She told him about her family in her job where she had gone to school and he told her about himself by the time they got to their house the rain had stopped i'm glad it rained ed said would you like to go out tomorrow after work i would love to joanna said she asked him to meet her at the bus 